Welcome to today's episode. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a Kandinsky artwork. Now, Kandinsky was an artist that was inspired by music, and this is portrayed in his drawings and paintings. So I hope you enjoy today's episode. Follow along and let's get started. What does the sound blue sound like? Is it a deep dark sound or is it a high light sound? What about red? Is red an angry loud sound or is it a sound that reminds you of love? Kandinsky, a Russian born artist, used music to inspire his paintings. He used the process of abstraction to depict sound. We're going to create our own Kandinsky artwork and we're going to use music to inspire our artwork. Our composition is going to be made up of the following elements, lines, patterns, symbols of music and color. Lines could run in the following directions, vertically, diagonally, horizontally. You can come up with some of your own line patterns as well. Here are some suggestions. Square lines, triangular lines, broken lines, lines that look like waves. Experiment and come up with some of your own patterns. We're also going to use geometric shapes, such as squares, circles and triangles. I'd like you to find a sheet of music have a look at the symbols on the sheet. Find three symbols that you really like, such as a bass clef, a treble clef. It's up to you which symbols you choose. Now with your favorite piece of music playing in the background, let's start our artwork. Pick three different lines that are going to run across your page. Two that intersect diagonally and one that intersects horizontally or vertically. Incorporate the three geometric shapes in your composition. You can use stencils or cutouts of the shapes to experiment with layout. Once you're happy with the layout, trace around your stencils. Draw three music symbols on your page. You can overlap the lines, place them in different areas on the page. Listening to your music Add color to your artwork using watercolor paints and markers. What colors does your music inspire you to use? Well, I had a lot of fun in today's lesson. I really liked how Kandinsky used music to inspire his art. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next episode.